price of a pair of shoes was $200. So, the shoe is the 100%. Alright? Or in other words, the $200 is the 100% also. Alright? The next line, Jackson bought the shoe at a discount of 15%. Okay? I usually prefer to follow the question and do. So since they mentioned discount of 15% and I know the original price, right? I prefer to find by the discount. Following the question, we do one step at a time. Alright? So how do I find the discount that is given? How to find discount? of the shoe. Alright, so the discount given here will be $30. So this $30, you don't need to pay, right? So what will you do? You got to deduct it away from the original price, right? The, sell, the usual price here. Why do I prefer to do it like this? Because if you look at the next line, in addition, he had to pay 7% GST on the discounted price. So, this discounted price, will it be the same as this usual price? Will it be the same thing? No. That's why don't go and take, oh, 100% minus 15%, then plus the 7%. No. The total is not the same. You cannot just minus and plus directly. Alright? So, I prefer to do it one set at a time so that we can avoid this kind of mistake. And since they mentioned discounted price over here, so over here, I will go and find the discounted price. So discounted price means my usual price, I will deduct the discount. So the discounted price is 170. They mentioned the GST 7%, it's on the discounted price. Or in other words, 7% off the discounted price. Alright? So, since it's 7% off the discounted price, 7% we change it to fraction, multiply by the discounted price. And they asked how much did he pay for the pairs of shoes in total. Alright, if there's no GST, he will only pay 170. But with GST, he has to pay together, these two things together. Understand? Alright, so 170 plus 11.9, 181.9. But when you put it on the blank, please take note, $181.90. The last zero must be written. All money in decimals must be written in two decimal places. Alright, so please take note of this. Okay? Okay? Done, huh? Next one, question seven. Okay. Roy bought a toy gun at 20% discount. Okay. He paid $74.90 for the toy gun, which is which was actually inclusive of 7% GST on the discounted price. Alright? Take note of one thing. Uh. This is where it's going to get really confusing for most of you, I guess. Okay. 
What you need to understand in percentage is everything has its own 100%. The selling price is 100%. Okay? After deducting the discount or whatever, there's a discounted price, right? The discounted price on its own is also 100%. Okay? So these are the things that don't go and just think like, like this. Oh, the toy gun 100%. I minus 20%, 80%. Then the GST 7%, right? 80 plus 7, 87% is this amount. It will be totally wrong. Because like what I said earlier on, this is a different total. So you cannot just add or minus the percentage from things that are different. Understand? All right? Here, if I just look at the green color thing here, the discounted price, it's 100% on its own. Then, the 7% is added on it. Understand? Alright? So, 100% plus the 7%. This 107% is actually based on discounted price. Alright? And this 107% based on the discounted price then will be equivalent to the $74.90. Alright? So this is the $74.9. Okay? So if you have something of 107%, which is $74.9, right? Now, we will look for 1%. And this 1% is based on discounted price. Alright? Okay, so 1% based on discounted price we will take the 74.9 to divide by 107 and you will get 0.7 Okay? 1% of the discounted price is 0.7 Okay, if you want to find the discounted price, then now you've got to find the whole thing, the 100%. Okay? So, 100%. So, just like one unit equal to this, now you want to find 100 units. So, you just take the value times 100. Okay? So, this 100% of the discounted price, which is 70, is just... After the discount that is given, right, then it's $70. So now we do it back to the original. Original is 100%, right? So original, 100%. There's a discount of 20%. So what is the percentage paid? How much do you pay for this? 80. Take note that this 80% is based on the original price. So 80% of the original price then will be the discounted price. Understand? The 70. That's how you can see this is the confusing part. You all got to break it up and do. Cannot do it everything one shot. Alright? So, 80% of the original price, then now it's 70. Alright? Then, repeat the 1% way. 1% based on the original price. So, original price is always 100, right? So, now we go back to... 100% of the original price. Okay, so original price is actually $87.50. Again, remember the dollar sign and remember the last zero that is required. Alright? 